Hey guys, it's me, the King Dragon Puppies here, and I am here today doing another video. And yeah, um, we got more. I still got to do um, all these Funkos here. And uh, yeah, we're doing part four of the my entire 2022 Funko Pop collection. So we better get started, and not waste any time if we want this video to be under a half hour. So we're gonna go from bottom to top. Um, this one, there's a little bit of a theme for each one, too. So, yeah. First off, we've got Thanos. And, yeah, he's very detailed. As you can see, he's got all the Infinity Stones. And, yeah, a very cool Funko. He is a bobblehead. All Marvel and Star Wars Funko Pops are bobbleheads, so that is cool. Another Thanos is Venomized Thanos. Very cool. Very cool indeed. And he's got his tongue sticking out. Oh, ew, Thanos. Ew, nasty. <laughs> he's licking it. But, um, yeah, he's really cool. Again, bobblehead. Very cool. Then we got Green Chrome Hulk with Infinity Gauntlet. So he's an exclusive, I think, chrome version. Let's bend his head a bit. There. So yeah, he's got the infinity gun, and so yeah, pretty cool. He, from far away, it just looks like a hunk of green plastic, but up close, you could kind of tell who he is. So that's cool. Now, next up, we have Spider-Man with a Christmas sweater. So yeah, basically Spider-Man with a Christmas sweater. He's got spiders on it. That's about it, really. He's pretty cool. He goes with my Christmas um, Funkos, but you know. Yeah, that's about it. But uh, this Spider-Man's one of my favorites. He, it's Spider-Man taking a selfie. Probably from the PlayStation game, if I'm going to guess. And yeah, he's just super cool. Next up, another Christmas one. We got Deadpool with a turkey. And yeah, it's just Deadpool with a turkey. He's got an apron on and everything. He's super cute. Now, we've got the Silver Surfer, another very cool Marvel character that I really like. And his Funko is actually pretty cool and clean. From far away, you can even kind of tell who he is. Next up, we've got the Black Panther. Now, he doesn't have a stand, so he falls over a lot, this version. This is like the comic book version. Still very cool. He's got them those claws. He kind of looks like Batman, to be honest. But um, there is a difference. So yeah, pretty cool. Next up, we've got Zombie Hulk. Very cool and very detailed Funko Pop. Look at him. Wow. Just an amazing figure. I, I love him. Next up, for the other Christmas stuff, we have Thanos. He's in his comic book attire, and he's got a Christmas sweater on. I don't know who's in the middle. Maybe him. Maybe Red Skull. I don't know. But just to go with my Christmas collection. So he goes really good with them. Next up, we've got the creator of the Muppets, Dark Crystal, Emmett Otter, Fraggle Rock, um, the Labyrinth. The Muppets and Sesame Street. Jim Henson with Kermit. And yeah, he's very cool Funko. Kind of bland, but you know, that's just what Jim Henson looks like. Except for his little Kermit puppet. And I also have the other Jim Henson with Ernie from Sesame Street. And uh, it's a kind of a shame he wasn't holding Bert and Ernie or maybe just Elmo. That would make sense, but still a very cool Funko Pop, indeed. Next up, I think I have all the Hello Neighbor Funkos. So we're just going to start off with the original. And yeah, he's very cool. He looks just like the neighbor in the game Hello Neighbor. And uh, as you can see, he's got a little crow on his shovel. And yeah, he's got kind of the Superman hair going on. And just a really cool Funko, I wish. His chin was a little bigger, but I can understand why it isn't. Next up, we've got the blood-stained version, which is like the old TV 
version and he's got some blood stains on his pants and shirt. Other than that, basically the same Funko, only with different colors. Next up, we have Hello Neighbor with Cookies and Milk. Basically the same neighbor, only with Cookies and Milk. I'm pretty sure he was an exclusive in maybe GameStop or Hot Topic. I do not remember. But yeah, a very cool Funko. Next up, continuing with our Marvel stuff there. We've got Thor. I think from the first movie. And yeah, he's got his beard and everything. He's got kind of a little braid in his on in his hair. And yeah, he's got Milnir. Just a pretty cool Funko. Now we've got the original comic book Human Torch. Now this is a really cool one. He's also a bobblehead, but just look at him. So detailed and so cool. Wow. Next up, we've got Zombie Mysterio, and of all characters, I wouldn't, I was not expecting them to do Mysterio as a zombie character, but he looks so cool. He's got a brain break, broken, um, the, uh, fish tank head thing, globe, you know, but yeah, he's got his hands out like, I will destroy you. He's just a super cool Funko. He's, his capes and tatters, too. So that's really cool. Next up to go with the Christmas Marvel characters, we got Snowman Captain America. Just kept a snowman as Captain America. Let's see if we can get Olaf next to him. There we go. So, yeah, they go really good together, I will say. And, you know, he's kind of simple in design, but I think that's... That, it's a good thing because it's snowman. You can't have them be too detailed. Otherwise, it just look unrealistic. Next up, we got Hulk. I got him from Universal Studios. So, yeah. You'd think I'd get him at Disney where because Disney owns Marvel. But no, I got him from the Hulk ride, like, little stand. And he had him. And I'm like, oh, he looks cool. I'm going to get him. And yes, he is detailed. But the only thing I don't like is that he looks kind of plain. It just looks like a normal Funko, except for the bobblehead. Still very cool. Same thing with this next Funko. Normal Captain America. You can actually take off his shield and put it on other Funkos. So I could put his shield on Hulk. So, yeah. I really like that feature. I think that's really cool. But looking at him, it's just a normal Funko. The only thing they added is those little feather things, wings on his head. But still a very cool Funko indeed. I've had him for a long time. Next up, to go with the Christmas Marvel characters. I think this is my last Marvel character. Is Christmas Tree Guru. And look how cute he is. He's got a little wreath on him. Christmas lights and a star on top. Just a very cute figure. And he's really small. So if we bring in Hulk, which is around the normal size of a Funko Pop, he is fairly small. And yeah, very cute figure. Well, now we have one row to go on this shelf. Then we have one more shelf left. In eight minutes, That's we're going fast. Speaking of fast, here's Flash. Sorry, he's already gone. <laughs> I'm kidding. But this Flash is super cool. It's from the TV show. And yeah, he's just awesome. Look at him. He's got the streaks. And yeah, so he's basically based off of the uh, TV show, The Flash. And that's why he looks kind of basic. But I think they went the extra mile. Get it? Extra mile? I'll stop. But I think they went the extra mile making him run. So that's really cool. Next up, uh, we have Charizard, the evolved, the evolution of Charmander, the third evolution. And look at him, he's a Target exclusive and awesome, he's just awesome. Look at him, I mean Charizard's just cool. So yeah, he's one of my favorite Funkos by far. Next up, we have Pikachu! So yeah, Pikachu, 
super recognizable. He has a stand that falls off all the time. I feel like all stands do on Funko Pops. And they're really hard to get on his feet, but like, he's just awesome. Look at him. Very cute. Next, we have Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirt. That's right, I don't have Squirtle. Let's take a moment of silence for Squirtle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyways, we have Charmander and we have Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur. Charmander, Char! And yeah, they're very cute. Um, for some reason, Bulbasaur is bigger than Charmander. But let's just not focus on that. <laughs> now we've got... <laughs> we've got Scooby eating Scooby snacks. And oh my gosh, this is one of my favorite Funkos of all time. He's just so, so cute. I mean, look at him. He's just so cute. He just eat a little snack. All right. Everyone loves memes, right? Right? This is fine. This is fine. It's the this is fine dog. And oh my god, he is adorable. This is fine. Is written on his mug. He's got flames around his chair. He's just awesome. They don't have a lot of meme Funko Pops, but the ones they do are very cool. Next up, we have Gaming Mickey. He is playing damn video games. He's got his headset and controller, a hoodie, and he's focused. So, yeah, you can have him facing like that or like this. And I like him like this. So, yeah, very cool. Next up, we have Doug from Doug Days. And, uh, yeah, he's protecting all his toys from the little puppy, like in that one episode. And yeah, he's super cute. Look at him. Look at the little pup. Get your big head out of the way. Get your big head out of the way. Look at him. Aww. So cute. But that is one shelf. Now we got one more. Next up, we have the Around the World series. We have this girl. I don't know their names. I do have the passport down here. Maybe. The pin, they all come with pins, as you can see. I don't have them all. But, uh, yeah. No, it does not say their names. But, yeah, very cool Funko Pop. I'm going to collect them all. They're just all so cool and detailed and just awesome. So that's her. Um, let's see, what country does she represent? I want to say Italy. Uh, no. I don't remember what it was. But, um, I do know this one. This is Japan. Very cool one. He's a samurai. Um, I want to say fox. Probably not a fox. But it's still a very cool Funko. Next up, we have Ireland. Um, with a fox. And he's a leprechaun. He's got a four-leaf clover. And it looks like some gold in one hand. And one paw. So he's really short, but he's really cute. Like, he's got a little tail. He's really cute. Next up, we have Canada. Oh my gosh, they're all falling. Ah! Oh, okay, they're all good. Canada with a beaver. And he looks like a wildlife ranger. He's got a thing of maple syrup. And he's got a bird in his hand because they have a lot of nature. Very cute. He's even got a little beaver tail. But yeah, really cute. Next up, Antarctica. We have a polar bear with a fish. Look at the fish. But yeah, she's really cute. I really like her sweater. She's just all fluffy and cute. Germany. A pig. Yeah. You're calling us Germans pigs? I am German. <laughs> Anyways. He's got beer and a pretzel. But yeah, he's going to do a dance. He's going to do a jig. 
but yeah, he's super cute. Next up, we have India. And an elephant, because I'm pretty sure they ride elephants in India. And I'm pretty sure they used to stomp on people's heads as punishment for something they did. Anyways, I don't think she does that. I think she's a nice elephant, hopefully, maybe. I'm hoping so. But yeah, she's got all the cultural clothing. Very cool. And, you know, just a cool Funko Pop. Next up, we have Australia. And it's a koala, of course. He's got some shark teeth on the top. I want to say the shark teeth because they're known for their sharks. But um, he's got he's eating some uh, eucalyptus leaves, as you can see. And he's just so cute. Look at him. He's just so cute. Next up, we have... I don't remember what this country... What country she's from. But it's a toucan. I want to say Puerto Rico or maybe... Madagascar? No, not Madagascar. I think it's Puerto Rico. But um, anyway, still a very cool Funko. Very detailed, very pretty, and cute. I love all the colors and the outfit. And it's just a cute Funko. Awesome. Last for Around the World series that I have is Buckingham Palace. Or Barkingham. Um, I remember his name. He's got a little spot to tear. God save the queen. And, uh, yeah, he's dressed up as a, um, soldier. And, yeah, he's super cool. He's really cute. I really like him. He's one of my favorites. Next up, we have this guy. Pretty sure I showed him off in another video, so yeet. I've got so many, I don't even know if I've shown them all off. Anyways, Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda. Wait, what's that in the comment section? His name's the child? Oh, wait, it's called... Hey, no spoilers. Sorry. Anyways, we got the child. Um, <clears throat> the child. One with a cup of soup. <laughs> and this one, who's using the force. They're both very cute. Look at all right, that's kind of creepy. But anyways, next up we have Sheldon from The Big Bang Theory. A very cool Funko. And uh, yeah, he's doing the thing from Star Trek. So that's pretty cool. Other than that, pretty basic Funko. I do like shoes. Look at them shoes. But yeah, it's Sheldon. What else can I say? Next up we got the villains from Ready Player One, the movie based off the book series that I never read. But yeah, very cool Funko Pop because that was one of my favorite movies for the longest time was Ready Player One. And this is an awesome Funko Pop. Next up, we've got the Ghostbusters ones. We've got the Baby Stay Pup Marshmallow Man from the newest Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters Afterlife. And he's playing with some wires and you can even see it's kind of making his belly all brown. I like my marshmallows brown. Don't, don't take that out of context. Anyways, he's really cute and really small. As a comparison, we'll use Hulk again. Very tiny. He might be the same size as Groot. Let's see. Almost the exact same size. They, they, do, they make a good pairing together, I will say. Next up, one of my all-time favorite... They're all falling. It's the domino effect. Oh, God. We've got Slimer eating sausages, and this guy is just adorable. Like, look at him. And just an awesome Funko with all the slime. It's just awesome. Look at him. At first you'd think, Casper! No, it's the ghost in the uh, logo for Ghostbusters. Yeah. Definitely not Casper. Why would you think it's Casper, you naughty person? Anyways, let's put all these back and get Steamboat Mickey. Very um, fragile with the wheel and the tail. 
So I'm going to be very careful. Thankfully, never broken him, unlike someone, Sonic. Yeah, I know you hear me. I'm not going to get him because of how fragile he is and how often he breaks is annoying. But yeah, as you can see, Steamboat Mickey has his nose attached to his head. So that's a good thing. But yeah, very cool Funko. Next up. No! No, 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 no! Michael Scott. He's got his world's best boss coffee mug and basically just a normal Funko. But still a very cool one. Last row. Are we ready? We've got this cute little narwhal, because you know I love narwhals. He's got uh, icing and sprinkles on his back. He's so cute. I don't know what he's from, but he's adorable. Heidi ho, neighborino. Oh, God. Ned Flanders died. Ned Flanders as the devil. From that one Simpsons episode. And, uh, yeah, it's just awesome. I'm pretty sure he's an... Uh, I'm pretty sure he's an Amazon exclusive. So this guy is awesome. Look at him. He, I think he's also glow in the dark. So that's also really cool. Purple drapes. All my life I've wanted purple drapes. Next up, we got, I'm loving it. I'm not loving it. <laughs> They're all falling down. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, the Chicken Nuggets kind of took out Wally, Olaf, Black Panther. So, we, and Helen Aber, we have a few casualties. Um, but, while we're talking about Chicken Nuggets, I'm not loving it. We've got a Cowboy Chicken Nugget. We've got a Pop Star Chicken Nugget. And... We've got a tennis chicken nugget, and we have a firefighter chicken nugget. There's more chicken nuggets. I just don't have enough money to get them all. There's just too many. <laughs> and then going with the McDonald's theme, we have Ronald McDonald himself as a pop star with uh, Bird. Bird Lady. That looks like Helen Henny from Chuck E. Cheese. Get out of here. No one likes Chuck E. Cheese anymore. It's irrelevant. But Ronald McDonald's looking snazzy. With them sunglasses and his guitar. Boop, 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 boop. The last two Funko Pops in my collection. I give you. Drum roll, please. Be very, very quiet. I don't think Robin's done. Elmer Fudd! As a, um, Viking from the one episode where Bugs Bunny dresses up as a Viking lady and lures him and then they kiss and get married. That was a very weird episode. It was like an opera show. Spoilers! Sorry! Jeez! It's like a show from the 70s. Anyways, very cool, very cute Fungo. Look at his shoes. Why do I keep focusing on feet in these videos? Gotta get your life together, Chase. Stop looking at feet. I'm sorry about that. But, uh, Elmer Fudd. And last, but certainly not least, all of these were not at, there were, are no accidents when buying Funkos. Only happy accidents. Bob Ross! And one of my favorite Funkos. He has his uh, afro and his beard. He's got his paint. His paintbrush. Just an awesome Funko. Look at all this detail. Packed into one figure. Wow. But that is all my Funkos. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm so glad you guys have watched all these, all the episodes in the series. Because I know there's a lot and it's long because I have like 300 Funko Pops. <laughs> and
Anyways, hopefully all this plastic won't pollute the world. And I'll see you guys next time. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification button. And I'll see you guys again in the next video. Goodbye. Rawr.